Teen Angst Na by Ned Vizzini. Now, if the title's not enough to get you interested in this quite readable book, perhaps the way it's set up will be. Each chapter of the book is set up in um, sort of like a story of his life. It is a memoir. He says it's a quasi-autobiography. Basically, it's sort of like a memoir-ish type book. You get to basically grow up with Ned. Now, something I really liked about this story was how interactive it is. And what I mean by that is there will be many mentions of different things that happened in Ned's life, but you don't just get to hear about it and read about it. He has these little footnotes throughout the book, as you can see down here in the bottom. And a lot of them are links to different places on the internet, different things on his website. Like he was, he was talking about a short movie that he made when he was younger. You can actually go on his website, he gives you the link to it, and actually watch that. It's pretty cool and pretty interactive for a book. Aside from that, I absolutely love the cover design pretty awesome because what represents people better than this? I mean really, like everybody's just a crazy map of different events and places and things and it's just pretty neat design. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed in is the last chapter, the actual chapter, it takes place in Charleston, West Virginia. I'm from West Virginia, so I'm a little bit sensitive on this subject. His mom says, you kids should know some things about West Virginia. And I'm gonna cut to when she actually starts talking about it. Now, West Virginia is the poorest state in the country. I mean, it has the lowest average income. The main industry is still coal. Yeah, he's pretty accurate about the main industry still being coal and everything. And this is his his memories and his what happened for him and things. I get where he's coming from. But growing up in West Virginia, it's kind of hard to hear that about your own state, you know? Overall, it was a really, really great read. I actually felt like there were parts in the story that he might have even could have just taken directly from my own life. Like, I related that much to the things that happened to Ned and the different things that he went through because it's just stuff that everybody sort of goes through. Pretty, pretty great book. I give it a five out of five stars. Definitely check it out. If you're interested in any type of young adult literature, this is a must, must read.